Hi, I'm Ryan, and today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to always find that download no matter what machine you are on. As teachers, we download a lot of materials and everything through our browser, and that works okay, but sometimes you just can't find the download, or you might download it on your school computer and be on your laptop and wonder, I have to re-download it again. Well, today I'm going to show you how to change the location of your downloads in your browser so you can always find them. And we're going to store them in a cloud storage so then they will be in sync on all your machines. My examples today are going to be in Google Chrome using Drive File Stream. If you are using the new Microsoft Edge browser or Firefox or Safari, the idea is the same, you'll just have to look in your settings to figure out where to save it. Also, I'm going to use Drive File Stream. If you're a G Suite for Education user, you have unlimited space in Drive File Stream, so you don't have to worry about clearing out your downloads folder. If you're using a cloud storage service that limits how much stuff you can put in it, you might need to go in and clean up that space. If you are a Microsoft user and your school district's using Microsoft, you can use OneDrive to store your downloads and then they'll be anywhere you have access to your downloads. To get started, I'm going to start up Google Chrome. Now, we need to go to our settings to find out where our download folder currently is. So click on the three dot menu and go to settings. To make it really easy to find it, type downloads. And here's the location. Now I'm on Windows right here, so it's going to my home directory, the downloads folder. If you're on a Mac, this would say user slash your username slash downloads. Linux is the same way. It's basically the same information, same location, but it's stored on the local machine. I want to store this in my cloud storage so then I can access my downloads no matter what machine I'm on. So I'm going to click change. Over here on the left, I have Google Drive file stream. When I click on it, I can go to my drive and I have a downloads folder right there. If you didn't have a downloads folder, you can create one. This varies depending on your operating system. Under Windows, I can click somewhere in here and say no and I can create a folder. So I don't have to have one downloads folder for everything. I could create a downloads folder for each nine weeks at the school, each semester, each school year. I'm going to create one for this current school year. So I'm going to call it 20-21 downloads. And now I could use that and all my downloads for this year would be in that folder. Next year I could create another one and so on and so forth. And I'm going to say select folder and give it a second here to update. Now, anything I download is going to be automatically saved in my Google Drive. So any machine that I'm signed into, whether it's my school desktop or my school laptop, I can access my downloads no matter where they are. Works out really well. But this folder could get very, very large. So if you have limits of your cloud storage, you'll need to go in and clean it up and just delete those files probably to help clean it up. But that's all you have to do and now my downloads folder are synced with all of my devices automatically so that's it for today nice quick video on saving some sanity on where that download went to be sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and visit my website at educate.me stay classy